I knew that everyone was very friendly in California, so I was looking forward to it, I guess. It's the only school in America, actually, that was offered by my university. It's like I'm doing the same thing that I would be doing, like, um, back home in London, like the same concrete walls and town and everything. It's just like London as well, but taking away my friends and my social life and like what, like the education system that I like and like putting me here. Yeah, I find it when I'm here, I find it uh, pretty boring. Like, it's not sort of not too much to do. I like it here, but to an extent. I mean, it's really beautiful here, like this, you know, the nature, the scenery, blah, you know, all that thing. It's pretty, it's very nice. I like it how there's sort of. Like I like to go snowboarding, which is an hour and a half, sort of outside of Sacramento, and then there's a beach that's sort of an hour and a half the other way. I've had a friend of mine who did it, who did the same exchange program um, last year, second semester, and um, he told me it wasn't it wasn't that much like it was fun. He had fun, but he said Sacramento itself wasn't that much fun. For somebody my age, like if you want to hang out with friends, I mean, there's so much you can do, like going to the shopping mall and stuff. Like, there's so much times you can go there. And it's very hard to like meet new people and like the people that I could meet like say in the dining hall they're all like a lot younger and everything and I really feel like Sacramento State isn't really like a community life like my school back home the University of Western Ontario it's one big giant community and like everybody kind of like if you go to Western everybody's sort of like your friend automatically kind of not really. The price rates here are, are really are really good and convenient for people. Um, it's good, like we get free buses as a student and that, which is good we don't get that back home. So, I mean, that makes things a bit easier. Cost in general is much higher though. I mean, the, the, my accommodation in, in Oxford, which is really expensive back home, was only £900, which is about $1,500 for a semester, and it's over 4000 it's about 5000 here. No, that's the thing, you pay five and a half thousand dollars to live here and you get some crappy little room and yep, five and a half thousand, you get some crappy little room and you don't even get your own stove or cooktop. I think that like they do put you in smaller cities though as opposed to like exchanges at a bigger city and I'm not sure why because like you're not experiencing like as much of the culture and everything like here, like I just like I feel like it's just like a waste of an exchange. How do you find the education here compared to home? Finding it a little bit harder to grasp what the teachers are trying to say. It's like if you don't, if you didn't read the book, then you, you hope you're lost. Here, the teachers get to teach in their own way more freely. They set the rules in their classes. They say if we have two exams, three exams, or if we don't have exams at all, it's up to them. So basically like you go to the lectures, you read the books in your own time, and then that's what you get tested on. And I much prefer that to like all the little assignments and um, frequently being tested. And They're pretty good. It feels like I'm back in high school with just constant homework that easy. The education system in the university is only three years to graduate, but uh, here it's four years. Uh, but over there, you don't have to take any general classes at all. It's, it's, it's all um, major related classes from start to end. The university is awesome. It's very big. Very big. Like, compared to back home, it's huge. Like, it makes our university look like a dot. Because everything is so spread out. In the, I mean, where, I'm, where I go to university in Oxford, I go to Oxford Brooks. Everything is so much more compact. I just feel like there's no like community life here and it's been very hard to get involved and to meet people and people aren't around to do things as much. I think that's mainly in part due to the fact that it's a commuter school and people are coming to school and leaving as opposed to like all living within the area and like living by the campus if not on the campus. When I was over at the Lofts the other day and I saw outside there was um, there were gunshots and there was a police helicopter that was going around with a searchlight. Um, apparently a couple of guys died there. That was obviously a bit scary but I've, you know, I feel safe most of the time here so. But no, there's no, I've never seen a searchlight ever. <laughs> That's the first time. I've never heard gunshots either unless, um, unless it was, you know, it was a shotgun or whatever. Yeah. That's really frightening.
Mm, it's kind of scary. Yeah. It is kind of scary that people are allowed guns here. That's 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 funny. Yeah. Like you go to a club and the bouncer has a gun. I feel like that's inappropriate, really. I mean, I noticed here that everyone is is, is just freedom of speech and freedom of act and you can do whatever you want it's up to you nobody actually you know would would judge you on that or they just keep their opinions to themselves if they don't like it they do not because you have the right to do whatever you want so that's how it is I, I learned I learned that here I learned that here I learned that people can do whatever they want even if I don't like it I don't have to you know if I don't like it then might as well mind my own business then you know what I mean I learned that here before maybe Back home, if you see someone doing something, then you'll say, oh, this person is this or this person is that. But here they don't do that. They just mind their own business. I mean, it's up to him to do that or not, which is a good thing. It's just a very good thing. People need to learn to do that more. I got myself a bike and I've, I've been an awful lot of places on there. And I remember when I, when I first got here, I went downtown and I was, um, I cycled back. I met some really cool people in a little thrift store. Um, and they told us this little beach to go to, which was really nice. And me and Patrick went and checked it out. And um, I don't know, I felt really good that someone had just given us this piece of advice, you know, this piece of advice where there was this really cool place we could go and everyone could hang out. So it was just made me feel like everyone was kind of friendly. So 